Hey, Elliot from Spaghetti Lab back again, and today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about buying your first Arduino. Now, one of the big points of confusion when you're first starting out is figuring out if you should buy an official Arduino or one of the dozens of different types. And I would say when you're starting out, I don't think it really matters. If you end up really enjoying the Arduino, you can definitely always get an official one later on and there's a whole official product line of Arduinos. Now to get started I'm just gonna jump to cut to the, the chase here and tell you that the Uno design is probably the best one for everyone starting out in the Arduino and it looks like this. Now in this particular Uno design there is a chip here which is removable and that is convenient if the Arduino got fried for whatever reason and the Uno is the best starting point because it's easy to access the ports on the side and it also has a big USB port here in many of the cases and also a 9 volt uh, battery supply so you can run it without the computer. Now I'm going to show you another similar Uno board that actually is lower cost and it has a chip that is soldered on so the chip can't be removed and it is pretty good as well even though if you fry this type of Arduino it the whole board is kind of garbage after but it's still pretty good so consider that one as well. Now I'm about to show you one called the Nano and there's also one called the Trinket and these are smaller Arduinos they're more they're better for people who already know how to use Arduino you would program this one by attaching it to something like a breadboard or making your own circuit with it so I would recommend probably not the best first Arduino but these are really good to know what they are and I'm about to show you one that is based on Arduino and this is not an Arduino though really because it is something called an ESP8266 and that means this is a Wi-Fi chip on an Arduino board and this is pretty cool it's probably not the best for someone starting out because there's a few things to learn at once but it's great option to know about at least and also maybe just to know that you shouldn't buy it as your first one. This particular board says D1 on it and I'm going to be talking about this more in future videos. Now there's one Arduino that I haven't shown in this video today which is the lily pad and that is meant for wearable electronics where you can sew it into clothing and that's really good for people who are say into something like cosplay. There's also a whole line of all kinds of other Arduinos that are are more powerful and almost like mini computers and there's even one that is made by Intel. But uh, for the sake of just getting started I would say the Uno is the best bet. Okay, so this wraps it up and I hope this was a helpful video.